welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my first trimester of my pregnancy. Um, this is going to be a first trimester recap. I'm going to be sharing the symptoms I had, different like resources and tools and things that helped me survive, especially as a teacher during back to school season at a new school, recently moved across the country, all of the things while navigating my first pregnancy. It was definitely a doozy and I'm excited to kind of just share with you guys what helped me and just like all the things so i hope you guys enjoy this video if you do please make sure to give it a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe so that you can see more of my videos and let's go ahead and get into this first trimester video okay. so i am currently 16 weeks pregnant as i said this is my first pregnancy um our first baby and we're so excited so i have been out of the first trimester for a few weeks now and honestly, thank goodness, because I didn't actually realize how bad I was feeling until I started to feel better. And I said that in my last video, and as soon as I said it, I was like, that pretty much sums up exactly how my first trimester went and how I feel now. Basically, when I found out I was pregnant, I was like four weeks and one day, so pretty early on. And for the first few weeks, I didn't experience like barely any symptoms. One of the first symptoms I did experience, if you're a boy, click out now. This is going to be a girl video. I'm sorry. <laughs> the first symptom that I experienced is that my breasts grew a lot <laughs> and I wasn't really expecting that. I didn't really know about that and like everything just hurts on your chest. It's really sore. <laughs> so that was the first symptom that I experienced for pretty much the first month of my pregnancy. I didn't really have any other symptoms, thank goodness. So I went back to school when I was seven weeks pregnant. That was our like teacher week. Um, so it wasn't the first week of school. So around week seven and eight, the next symptom that I started experiencing was the like severe sense of smell. Like my sense of smell was like out of this world. For like a few weeks there, I could not open the fridge <laughs> because just there was too many smells and it was too overwhelming and I would start to feel sick. If there was any sort of any kind of food left over like on the counters or on a plate or something in the kitchen, that made me gag. <laughs> it made me really nauseous because it smelled so bad to me. A couple of scents that really, really made me feel nauseous was pork. Um, I remember I went out to dinner with one of my friends and we ordered like a some sort of sandwich and I didn't eat it because I realized I didn't like pork. I don't like pork normally. So it was basically just heightened and I brought it home and Warren heated it up and I literally like that was one of the few times that I actually threw up was because of the smell of the pork sandwich thing. It was so gross and for me that kind of makes sense because I don't like the smell of pork anyways and i don't really eat pork anyways i just don't like it and so then while pregnant i was like couldn't even be around it like it was so gross so my sense of smell was definitely heightened for quite a few weeks there and i like pretty much could not go into the kitchen i felt so bad for my husband but he pretty much had to do everything in the kitchen because i just could not without gagging and then as I mentioned during that, that's also when I started to experience a little bit of nausea, but it wasn't what I have heard from other women um, that they had morning sickness. Well, it was back again. I didn't really experience morning sickness. I didn't like every morning feel sick and I didn't throw up every single day consistently. I did gag a lot. <laughs> I just felt really nauseous at certain times. So what I would do would be, I always had a snack on my nightstand. And before I even got out of bed, I like ate a couple of saltine crackers. Pretty much all day long, I was like snacking and that's what helped me the most with my nausea is just pretty much constantly eating something, like just a little bit, like a cracker here or there. Um, especially before I went to bed, I would make sure I ate a snack because then that just helped me throughout the night and in the morning not feel sick. So basically my biggest tip for nausea is to just basically eat a lot because that's what helped me the most. Anytime I started to feel hungry, I would start to feel sick. And so I actually only threw up like a handful of times, maybe like five times total the whole time that I was experiencing the nausea, but I did gag like all the time. <laughs> I just didn't actually throw up, thank goodness. So I did find a couple of things that seemed to help my nausea that I wanted to share just in case because when I was researching morning sickness, pretty much anything anyone said helped them, I like tried because I was willing to try anything because I was so nervous about having really bad morning sickness while being a teacher at school and not having anyone know and just like being alone in my classroom and just not feeling well. So 
I did try quite a lot of things. Okay, so the first couple of things I had heard might help were little like hard candies. So the first one I got was this lemon ginger morning ease um, little hard candies. And I showed these on my Instagram the other day when I like had nausea for some random reason. But basically they are just like a little candy that comes wrapped and they're just lemon ginger flavored. So you can just suck on this. Um, I definitely use these quite a bit. I actually use these ones more than the other ones I'm about to show you. I honestly think it's just because I had these ones in my lunchbox, so I would just bring them to work with me every day. So these, I do think they helped a little bit. They did kind of just like help having something in my mouth so I wasn't like hungry or just kind of like, I don't know. They just, they helped a little bit. So I would recommend maybe trying these. They're not that expensive and I still have like a lot left. And they're also really easy if you are working to kind of just like have one in your mouth and it's not something you have to chew, it's just something you can suck on. And um, so I would recommend those. And then I also got these peppermint ones. Um, when researching this, basically from what I've heard from women, it's like usually the ginger helps you or the peppermint helps you. It's like usually one or the other for girls. So I know I've had car sickness problems before and when I was a kid it was really bad and I would always suck on little peppermint candy so I was like oh duh that would probably help me too and so these ones are really good too um both of these are from Amazon but you can get them probably anywhere um so both of these were really handy to have especially while working okay the next thing that I tried was this little bottle of like a supplement it's kind of like a supplement inside it has ginger fennel seed and peppermint so basically the things that are known to help your stomach if you're feeling nauseous and what you do is you just take like a little dropper of this and you put it in some water and you can drink it and so some days when i was feeling very sick i would try this and it's not a very strong flavor i was really nervous <laughs> when i was like not liking anything that i would not like the taste of this but it's honestly very like refreshing and light it just kind of tastes like a little bit of a peppermint tea kind of it's really convenient because it's just in a little dropper it's by sprigs life um so i ordered it from their website and i do really like this i didn't use like a ton of it i don't know if you guys can see but i did use this quite a few times and i liked it so um i do think it helps a little bit okay the next thing is like one of those things that i heard might help and so i was like i'm gonna try it and I don't know if it exactly helped like all of these things i like don't know exactly which one helped me the most but i just used them all um another thing that i read was like magnesium helps your morning sickness so i bought this little magnesium spray it's by pink stork and i would put this on every night just like two sprays on my legs and i'd rub it in and magnesium also helps you sleep from what i've read um so double whammy so I would use this every night um, pretty much and rub it into my skin and I don't know if it helped but I did it so that's good. So other things that helped me besides that was just making sure I drank a ton of water. Basically just making sure I was never like hungry. I just ate all the time. That really helped me immediately after I woke up and before I went to bed and then throughout the day just kind of snacking on little things. And yeah, that's kind of all that I did. So the nausea slash gagging slash just like being turned off by all smells lasted until like the end of August until I was like 11 weeks or so but my number one symptom that I experienced my first trimester was fatigue the fatigue was unreal like out of this world I've never been so tired all the time and I could just sleep all day long if I could um I know that part of that has to do with like back to school season. If you were a teacher, you know how exhausting the beginning of the year is. Like just in general, the beginning of the year is exhausting. And honestly, I kind of thought that's what it was until I like realized it was not just that. Like it was more than like normal. I would wake up for work at about like 6 to 6.30, somewhere in there depending on the day, um, to be honest. And then I would go to bed by eight, <laughs> like asleep by eight, in bed by like 6.37 to be honest. Another symptom that I experienced was definitely just heightened emotions. <laughs> um, I cried a lot the first trimester. I feel like this has to do with a lot of different things. Obviously like just being concerned about, you know, 
if the baby is okay the first trimester and the fact that our pregnancy was a surprise it was just a lot to take in and then all of the changes in our life in the past couple of months i was just kind of like an emotional wreck all the time i held it together while i was at work and stuff but when i was home i just was exhausted i was exhausted physically i was exhausted emotionally i was exhausted mentally and that was really hard for me <laughs> and i definitely struggled a little bit um just emotionally during that but again i think that was a part of the hormones and a part of the pregnancy and it was just another symptom so i think that's pretty much all of the symptoms that i had like the big symptoms there were definitely like some weird ones like for example if i had my mouth open and i was like sitting in front of like a fan like the fan on the ceiling or like the ac or something and like the air got directly in my mouth it would make me gag <laughs> like it was very weird but it was a lot another symptom that i experienced sometimes was just like a stuffed up nose but um according to like the couple of apps i have they say like sometimes that's just normal because your body's like changing and everything is you know doing all the things so there's just some weird symptoms that didn't last like the whole time that just like happened for a little bit and it's very interesting to see all of the changes that happen while you're pregnant and just yeah pregnancy is crazy man <laughs> i don't know i wanted to share a couple of other just like things that i have been reading um and other kind of resources that have been helping me now that i am 16 weeks one of the things is a book as you guys know i am a pretty avid reader and so i actually have read books on pregnancy prior to me being pregnant just because i always knew i wanted to be pregnant so i've done a lot of research on pregnancy but one of the books that i purchased when i found out i was pregnant was this one and it's called real food for pregnancy and it's just talking about like what you should eat um just all sorts of stuff it talks about exercise it talks about blood sugar just vitamins and um all different sorts of stuff and warren's sister actually just had a baby a few weeks ago and she mailed me a copy of this and so i've been reading through it and it's very very insightful and i would definitely recommend if you are kind of just like what do i even eat like how much should i eat how can i prepare my body to be growing a baby which is crazy you know all of those sorts of things so i'd recommend this book i will have it linked down below it's on amazon and i've heard a lot of really good things about it and i would highly recommend it another book that i bought when i found out i was pregnant is this one um it's a week by week guide to pregnancy and childbirth um the only thing i will say about this is that they definitely take on a more like natural approach to birth but honestly, if you if that's not what you want to do, you can just ignore that part and just focus on like what is happening in your body um, at the time. And so basically every week there's, um, you know, 10 pages or five pages, five to 10 pages on what is happening in your body and what you can be doing to support your body. And there's recipes, there's different like exercises. There's just a ton of ton of resources in this book and I've loved reading through this each week as I begin a new week of the pregnancy. So I got a couple questions about the supplements I've been taking and the prenatal I've been taking. One supplement I've been taking for the past like two years or so is a probiotic and I've been taking this my entire pregnancy and I will say there was a few days that I like didn't go get the new bottle from the mailbox and I like was so sick those days. Like I didn't experience that much morning sickness when I did not take these, I felt horrible. And I didn't realize it was because of this. So I definitely am never gonna miss another day of this while pregnant, but I just take this probiotic. It's by Just Thrive. Um, a lot of people recommend this. My um, doctor recommended this, and so I ended up starting to take it. I've been taking it my entire pregnancy and it's really helped me. So I've been taking a probiotic my whole pregnancy and then I've been taking two different prenatals. So one prenatal I've been taking is by Spriggs Life, the same um, company that made this little Morning Joy um, supplement thing. I've been taking this prenatal and then I've also been taking another one that I can insert a picture of right here. I will say I definitely prefer this prenatal because these capsules are like... I don't know how to describe it but they're like this kind of capsule where it's like lined um and then the stuff is inside of it whereas the other one it smells awful anytime i would even look at the bottle i would gag warren had to bring me my prenatal every day when i was taking the other one because it just 
grossed me out. It smelled so bad. So I have another bottle of it that I'm going to go through, but once I'm done with that, I think I'm gonna stick with this one because I just have reacted better to this one and I just like it better. So I've been taking those two prenatals and they were approved by my doctor. So those are the two I've been taking. And then the last thing that I have been using is this Belly Balm by Sprigs Life. Again, I do really like that company and um, I don't know if I'll use this my entire pregnancy, but I have used it quite a few times. I haven't like consistently been using it yet because I haven't really started to show that much, but I have used it a few times. Um, and it just looks like this. It's basically like a thick cream, not super thick, but a pretty thick cream that you can put on your belly or your boobs or <laughs> your thighs, wherever you are growing. And um, just to help moisturize your skin and all that kind of stuff. So I did order this as well. So I asked you guys on Instagram for any questions you had about um, my first trimester and pregnancy and teaching and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna see if there's anything that I didn't answer directly that I can go over really quickly before I end this video. Okay, the first question said, do you ever just sit there and go, oh my gosh, I'm growing a human? <laughs> Um, sometimes, like, I feel like on the weekend, I always, like, it really hits me that, like, I'm pregnant versus, like, during the week, I, like, am so busy, I, like, don't even, like, remember sometimes um, that I'm pregnant. But, yeah, it is crazy. Women's bodies are amazing. The fact that we can grow a human in nine months is mind-blowing. That's just crazy, and it's so cool, and it's something to be so proud of. Okay, the next question said, if you ever needed to leave the classroom for being sick, what did you do? I was really afraid of this, to be honest. Um, but whenever I was feeling sick, I would suck on one of these and that usually would make me be able to get through it. Um, I would also snack, like if I started to feel nauseous and I could feel it coming, I would like run and grab like a couple of crackers and eat it really quick. Um, because that usually helps me get through it without actually throwing up. You know, I always carried a ton, like a thing of saltines in my lunchbox and I just carry with me every day just in case. So that is what I would do if I actually threw up, which I didn't, thank goodness, but if I had put on a movie, I don't know. <laughs> you just have to do what you have to do to survive. And if it's just you and your kids and you are sick, I would just put something on the screen for them to like watch for a few minutes while I could like get it out of my system and then do something to help me. I don't know. <laughs> okay, the next question said, have you told your students yet? If so, how? I have not. I actually thought about it the other day while I was in class. I was like, I should just tell them. Like, they'll be so excited. But I don't think I'm ready to tell them yet because then obviously their parents are going to find out and it's not a big deal if they find out yet. But I just like am not ready yet to tell them. I think once we find out if it's a girl or boy, then I'll be really excited to tell them. But I think I'm going to wait a couple more weeks. Okay, so the next question says, what aspects of teaching does it affect? Um, I had a lot of questions about teaching and being pregnant. Obviously, it affects all aspects of teaching because you feel like crap to be honest like I felt like crap I was so tired I was exhausted I didn't have any extra energy to give I barely survived I'm just gonna be honest I barely survived I gave it what I could um, my kids learned and I taught and I did what I needed to do and I would prep and plan and do all the things that I needed to do but I didn't go above and beyond pretty much that that's how it pretty much is for me every year during back to school season I just kind of survive this year especially I just had to survive and get through it. I was not thriving, I was surviving. And um, it just affects everything because when you don't feel good, I, it just impacts your day, obviously. Next question said, when did you first get nauseous? As I said, I think it was around like week seven and eight was when I started to start feel nauseous or when I started to like experience more of the like typical pregnancy symptoms was around that time. So that is pretty much going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and listening to me talk about how horrible I've been feeling for the past 14 weeks. Um, <laughs> I am really grateful that it was not that bad. My pregnancy so far has been pretty good. I'm very, very grateful for that. And I'm excited for this trimester and I'm excited for the third trimester and to meet our little baby. Um, I'm very excited because in these next few weeks we have another doctor's appointment. We're going to find out the gender soon in like a month and just lots of exciting things are coming. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Today and not tomorrow.